hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome welcome this is Talib Zeus and topic for today is manifesting now I want to make this video and put it into really basic steps first of all so what I want you to do is I want you to get the understanding of how it works you know when I worked in mechanics I found that as long as I understood how the car worked anytime there was a problem with it I could understand how to fix it so if you understand a bit more about how we manifest then you understand how to fix things when you're not manifesting what you want or when you want to change something and manifest what you do want so uh, most people have seen the secret now and people watched it they tried it out became frustrated because they felt it didn't work and that they were sort of gimmick other people said the secret was missing a lot of parts some people said they were manifesting and most didn't believe them um, or those that were manifesting um, with the people on the videos and people didn't believe those people anyway neither here nor there the fact is we do manifest law of attraction is real there are laws of the universe that we need to abide by and you know these laws they're not brand new laws they date back um, way way before us as the universe does so it's important that we do follow them so there was a movie called Bedazzled with Elizabeth Hurley and Brendan Fraser Elizabeth Hurley played the witch in uh, the the devil in that movie and Brendan plays a Brendan Fraser plays a lovesick uh, guy that wants to go and so she says to him listen I can give you anything you want go ahead and wish for it test it out so he says okay not believing it I want a Big Mac and a large coke so what she do she clicks her fingers voila it's done the bus turns up they jump on the bus they go to McDonald's they order a Big Mac and a uh, large coke the guy behind the counter says it's 347 or 348 Brendan Fraser pays for it and they walk out and he's unimpressed well you wouldn't want to manifest necessarily a Big Mac and coke because it's still a physical way to do things. We still live in a physical universe, physical realm. So, I mean, if you can go and make a cup of coffee, you're not going to sit there, close your eyes, and wish this cup, cup of coffee comes to you. But my point is this. Your thoughts do create things. What we think about does manifest. It manifests first in the astral plane and then down in the physical plane. But it also requires a certain amount of physical exertion. exertion. Maybe it requires you to go and do something, put some energy, give some time, meet somebody, Things, you know, require effort on the physical plane to manifest to the physical realm. None of us are at the stage where we can make, you know, something just pop out of thin air. None of us believe that neither, and our beliefs don't allow us to manifest in that way. So, we need to control our mind. It's really important. If we don't, guess what? We're subject to control of others and other things and media and so forth. Now, what's important to understand is there are stages to learn in. There's four stages, and the first one is the unconscious incompetent, where you don't know what you don't know. But then you come conscious incompetent once you know that you don't know something. For example, you know you can't fly a helicopter, so you're not going to. But if you was to learn to do something, so you learn, for example, to drive a car, and at, to begin with, you can drive the car, but you're very conscious of your efforts to do that. So it's not quite as easy as it could be. But once you become good at it and you've done it for a while, it becomes an embedded skill within your subconscious and your subconscious can drive for you. That's why sometimes you know you can drive a certain route that you drive all the time, miss your turning because you're not conscious of what you're doing. You simply an autopilot driving the same route you drive all the time. Once we're good at it, our subconscious drives and we can do other things at the same time like change CD player and so forth. So that's the four stages. Our mind, what you should know, is made up into two parts. The conscious mind, and then the subconscious mind. So the conscious mind is the male, the subconscious mind is the female. Law of gender says there is uh, male and female in everything. This is one of the laws of the universe, the law of gender. We need male and female to create. Now, to understand your conscious mind in some ways is your conscious mind is a storyteller telling stories, he's a storyteller. The kids around with the subconscious mind, it takes in everything like a baby. You know, so we're constantly impregnating these thoughts into our subconscious mind and then this baby grows up to be the way or develops to be the way that we've programmed it to be now as a child as a baby you didn't program it no your peers your parents teachers older siblings television etc programmed it for you so now it's time to take control of your mind live life by design but you need to put the effort in to do that because no one can do that for you but the beauty is if you take the time to do it you know you will get some phenomenal results I promise you these are techniques I use work for me that's why I'm putting this video out because I had the same frustration literally to begin with so one thing that's important to understand is there is advertising out there advertisements do work to tell us we're not good enough because if we're good enough we won't need the product so this is where the conscious mind comes in we need to know how to consciously block the things that tell us we're not good enough 
So one way to do that is to start feeding ourselves with things that tell us we are good enough. This is not positive thinking and that kind of thing. This is not what I'm talking about here. It's possible to want things that are not positive for you as well. Now, conscious mind. This is your conscious mind. This is the male, the gatekeeper at the, at, at the door, the bodyguard, the bouncer, whatever you want to call it. And it's there to stop these negative thoughts coming into the female, to attack the female. So this is the male defending the female, the subconscious mind. Anything that comes in will pregnate itself. But if you only allow the good things in, you'll get those things coming into play as well. Now, of course, there is a law of polarity where everything is dual, in, out, up, down, etc. But we cover these kind of concepts in later videos. I want to stick to basics here right now. So when you watch television, one thing that's important to know and I will go more in depth in other videos in this, is that when we watch television, we go into a state known as alpha state. This is where our gatekeeper becomes relaxed and allows other things to come in to the female, to subconscious mind. So we've got to be aware that there's other factors out there. So to begin with, I will do another video on this again, like I say, but we'll keep this really simple basics. I just want you to get this. What I want you to understand is it's important that we change our situations. I'm not saying don't watch television, but we don't want things like this creeping in that we don't want, creeping into our subconscious and embedding itself in there and then growing into something we don't want. So the first rule here that I want you to really grasp and really you know take home is no entry to unauthorized thoughts. So the best way to do this is to start focusing and picking the thoughts that we do want. So I've got an exercise for you, it's really quick promise you if you do these exercises I'm going to give you, you'll get some phenomenal results. You know, I'm just asking you to have some faith here. It worked for me. It can work for you too. So the first question is, what do you want? Now, most people don't know what they want. You ask them, they don't know, but they know what they do want. And I'll give you an example. When I used to employ people, one of the things that I used to ask people that were frustrated or upset about a job is, what would you like to do? And they would say, I don't know, but I'm just fed up with doing X, Y, and Z. So here's what we do. Take a blank sheet of paper. Draw some lines on it, like I've done here. The left hand corner, right, negative, things I don't want, call it what you want. And start listing the things that you don't want. For example, you work with customers and you think they're rude. You don't want customers to be rude to you. It could be that. You know, uh, you hate your job, write it down. This is personable to you, nothing to do anybody else. Most people live their life for somebody else. Live life by design for you. Decide what you want. What's gonna, you know, what's gonna really fill your heart? What's gonna make you whole? What's gonna make you feel good? You come first, then when you feel good, everybody else can feel good around you. Partner never notices you anymore. Write that down. These are simply stories you're telling yourself. We'll go into these things in more depth, but start like this. And then on the other side, I want you to write the positive opposite. So if customers are rude, write customers are polite. What would you like to see as the positive opposite? I want you to start focusing on the things that you want to see because these things will start to come into fruition. It's not about how it happens. You know, is it just coincidence and so forth? When things start to happen, they seem like coincidence. Again, there is a physical path. Don't expect something to pop out of thin air. Ta da! Oh, look, you know, I thought about this and all of a sudden it magically appeared. Because if that was the case, it wouldn't be just as soon as you know about the law of the universe, um, of law of attraction of the universe, that it's going to happen all of a sudden because the law of gravity is another law. You don't need to know about the law of gravity to walk off a uh, 10 story building and fall to the ground. It's not a case I didn't know the law of polarity didn't exist. Uh, so the law of, of gravity didn't exist, and all of a sudden I, I was floating, then I found out and I fell off the building, it isn't like that. So these laws are in effect all the time, okay? So once you've done that, start to list what you do want. Use a list of positive opposites to list the things that you do want. You want a new car, two bedroom house, a new partner, dream job, etc. You know, and then become more graphic in detail. So you may not want a list of 100 things, you may want five or 10 things. So always go into detail, start to you no? Know? It's actually better if you do just a few things at a time. So start with the car if you want. And what color is it? You know, what kind of wheels does it have? Is it a five spoke alloy wheels? Is it a Z4 BMW? Is it white convertible? You decide. Has it got a you know built-in uh, hands-free kit, satellite navigation system? Is it automatic transmission? Is it white leather interior? You know, you decide what it is that you want. Really go to town on this. That's why I say it's better if you start with one thing because you can put more effort into one thing than you can many. You know, you start to see results. And what will happen is you will grow in faith. Your faith will grow, your belief will grow, and things will start to happen a lot more easier. But you've got to start somewhere and you've got to put the effort in. You've got to build some momentum with this. Look, you cannot hit a target you cannot see. So it's important that we have a target. Most people aim around, uh, wander around aimlessly. Not knowing where they're going, hoping they get somewhere good. And life doesn't work that way. You need to decide where you want to go. You know, 
you can't just decide that you're going to get lucky or hope you're going to get lucky or think that people that do well get lucky. Most people that do well do well because they consciously make an effort that they want to succeed in something and they do succeed in something. Luck is not a strategy for success. So you need to put that effort in. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I've been really conscious that I want to keep this uh, you know, within 10 minutes and give you some good content. Um, do this exercise first of all. You will get some phenomenal results doing this. Um, I will cover the other steps as we go along. And you will see that things start to happen for you. They'll seem like coincidence. But this is the way that these laws work. And they're working all the time. If you've got any questions, the comments below are disabled. A uh, simple reason for that is... Um, a lot of times people see videos and I've seen really good videos and negative comments and people don't know what they're talking about and I think look if you've got something to say it doesn't make sense to start putting them in a forum whereby you can kill off people's beliefs allow people to have the success you know regardless of how miserable you want to be or negative you want to be but I do want comments and feedbacks so what I'm going to do is create a Facebook page it will be in my next video uh, next week there will be another video series uh, going to step two of this so there will be a follow-up video and please leave your comments on there um, if there's any questions that you have I'll answer questions I'll do Q&A videos as well for you we'll cover all kinds of topics we'll go into magic astrology the mind uh, laws of the universe hermetic principles in a big way uh, till then you guys have been great do the exercise uh, like subscribe and I'll see you next week this has been Talibazeus signing out peace out and God bless